and welcome back to the Squirrel Head YouTube channel. Apologies for the absolute shit show that was the upload today regarding Ronald Koeman. I was at work, the internet wasn't very good, I thought I'd done some editing on it, just like on my, mo on my phone, as best as I could. It didn't work. Apologies for basically uploading a musical video with me talking but nothing actually happening, so apologies on that one won't do it again. Well, I'll try not to. Basically what I was trying to say about the Ronald Koeman deal, it's obviously been in the works for quite a while. Um, it's been coming up, it's been going over for a few weeks now and it was overdue that we were going to get some news about it at some point. Um, but from a neutral perspective, obviously I am obviously a Liverpool fan, but trying to look at it from a neutral perspective, it's a very good deal for Everton. Where does it leave Southampton though? Everton are getting a very good manager who will, over a couple of seasons, possibly get them into steady top six, which is dangerous territory for us. I have absolute faith in Jurgen Klopp um, to get us also solidified into that top six as well. It can only be good for Everton in the long run. Um, Southampton, where does it leave them? Is it, you know, is it purely down to them being a bit, uh, not being able to give him what he wanted in the transfer market and also getting rid of a lot of their squad players? Ironically, a lot of them appear to be coming to our club, being like Lalana and Lovren, just as a couple of examples. Possibly Mane is the next one, but who knows? You know, it is a very good deal for Everton as well. Obviously, they've just, they're having the takeover with apparently he's going to get 100 million to spend, which is unheard of for. Uh, Everton so far, obviously they splashed big on Lukaku, but other than that, there's not really been any big name signings that I can remember anyway. I might have missed a couple, but I'm sure you'll let us know. Um, very good deal for Everton. Where does Southampton go from here? I would say Frank de Boer, for sure. Only because, at the moment, I can't think of anybody else who would be better suited for the job that's out there as a free agent. I would have thought perhaps maybe Brendan Rodgers for Southampton or something like that. You know, if he was still available, but obviously he's gone to Celtic. Um, I'm not entirely sure what other type of managers are free at the moment who aren't currently in any any other jobs that might be going free. Gary Monk has obviously gone to Leeds. He would have been a good fit for Southampton, I would have thought as well. Very good uh, tactical manager. I'm not entirely sure where it leaves Southampton. Maybe they do have obviously a plan in the pipeline, but. Koeman is now at Everton and that can only really mean good things moving forward for Everton. Moving on to some transfer news concerning LFC, um, outgoings this time and it is Jao Teixeira who really didn't have a, I don't know if he got much of a chance of getting into the first team, he had a couple of runouts and when he did play he was okay, didn't set the world alight, um, but he is now on, he's going on his way to Porto um, and we're only getting a compensation of 240k apparently. Um, it's a shame to see a young lad go, but he's in that same age bracket as the likes of Coutinho and Firmino and stuff like that. And if he's not already up there at that level or just a little bit below, then he was always going to find it very, very difficult to get into the first team. So it is probably the best. He says it's his dream move to go to Porto. I wish the lad all the best. In other news as well, apparently we've had a bid of about 20 million or something like that for Islam Slimani um, rejected by Sporting Lisbon. Again, it's another player that I, I didn't know we were originally linked with, um, but I don't know a great deal about the player either. Um, I, he's been hotly tipped as quite a young uh, a young prospect, a young talented guy. You know, is it something that we're gonna miss out on or are we gonna have to stump up? I think they're looking for maybe about 25 million. Again, uh, you guys might know a little bit better than I do. What, you know, what's he like? Would he be worth that amount of money? Would he be worth the 20 million that we were offering in the first place? Let me know. And the other news in the Premier League that I've got today that uh, came through earlier on this afternoon was um, Feguli from Valencia has signed on a free for West Ham. And that is one hell of a free. Slavon Bilic is looking like an absolute genius in the transfer market. First he strikes good with Dimitri Payet. And then you've got someone like Feguli coming out. Now obviously you're looking at Feguli, he's got a lot of pace, he's got quite good skills, he's, he was good at, at Valencia, I'm not sure why they haven't renewed his contract or anything like that. Um, maybe they're going to be ringing the changes in quite a big style after their season they've had, uh, firstly under Gary Neville, um, which didn't obviously go very well. Um, maybe they would just make, want to make some changes, who knows? Um, I don't know, you guys again might know better than I do, but I think this is a really good signing, he's 26 years old, 
um, he's still got a lot to offer. Again, they've got someone on a free who is going to be able to contribute to them for years. Going in, it's a very, very good signing for those guys. Going into the Olympic Stadium, you can only think that's going to be good things. Getting in a free transfer like that, absolute quality. And all I'm looking at is I'm, I'm looking at other Premier League clubs. I'm actually kind of looking a bit at our club as well. Like, how are we missing stuff like these free transfers? Where, where are we going wrong with getting these free transfers in? Because Pagouli, you know, is he does look like a quality player whenever whenever he plays. Like, you know, everybody always has their off games. Every player in the world does. When he plays well, he plays. He, he's he's astounding. He's very good uh, right mid, right winger. Very good signing for West Ham, I would say. What are your thoughts on it as well? I think it's a missed opportunity for the clubs that are around West Ham anyway, who don't already have someone better in that position. Which for us at Liverpool, we we don't. We have Markovic coming back from loan. Is he going to be better? We don't really know, do we? So I mean, it's very good business by West Ham. Looking towards something like a schedule, I'm trying to think of some way of getting a schedule together. Obviously, I've got to try and fit things in around my um, my uh, everyday working job, um, which eats up quite a bit of time every day. And I'm trying to get stuff out as as often as I can. I am lacking on the gaming front at the moment because there's a lot more editing to do in those than there is in these videos anyway. All I've basically got to edit in here is my, is my face and my voice and cut out bits where I'm sounding like a complete dumbass. Maybe I'm not cutting enough of that out for some of you. Um, so I am, I'm trying to get together some sort of set schedule. I have got some FIFA videos that are pretty much ready to upload. Um, it's just getting some of the final finishing touches on it. I am playing a lot of other different games as well, so it's not just sports one. I'm playing some mainstream games, got like some Hitman gaming, the old Resident Evil. Looking at our PC games alone, I'm playing a lot of Hitman, playing a lot of uh, Deus Ex, Crisis, playing a lot of Bioshock, very, very good games, love that series. I'm going back through the Mass Effect trilogy, obviously ahead of Andromeda coming out, uh, Far Cry Primal, Getting used to that game, kind of hate it a little bit. Gary's Mod, This War of Mine, Dark Souls 3, Five Nights at Freddy. I'm trying to play quite a few different kind of games, get some videos made. And then on the PS4, I'm wanting to get like Uncharted 4, um, get some gameplay of that. I've missed, I've, tried, I've worked quite a way through the story mode anyway. Um, so that one might get, you know, under the radar. And I want to do some E3 content as well. Obviously, we've got E3 starting properly today. Um, and I want to get some content done on that, see what I can observe, what I've seen so far, trailers and things like that. If there's any gameplay videos, um, I want to, you know, bring my thoughts to you guys. And that's just from a gaming front. I know some of you might only be subscribed and stuff and watching because of the sports stuff. But I've got a lot of gaming content that I want to get done as well. I just need to find the time to do it. That's enough of my face and my voice. If you've enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video. Again, apologies for the absolute shit show of an upload this afternoon. Thought it would work, thought we'd have good, good enough internet connection at work, but we didn't. Things didn't go to plan, apologies on that one. If you've liked the video, please drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you later.